The Life and Family of Shakespeare Shakespeare was born in April of the year 1564 in his hometown of Stratford-upon-Avon. It has been rumored that he was born on the 23rd, but there is no proof. His parents were John and Mary Shakespeare. Shakespeare was born with no siblings because the two before him had passed away. Although the misfortune of the two losses from the family, five more children were born after Shakespeare. From oldest to youngest, they were Gilbert, Joan, Anne, Richard, and Edmund. Not too much is known about Shakespeare's early life, but he had supposedly gone to school around the age of six or seven, attending the school named Stratford Grammar School. When Shakespeare reached the age of 18, he met a 26-year-old named Anne Hathaway. There is not much of a story about them and their love life, but Anne was pregnant before the wedding, which neither Shakespeare's family nor Anne's family was happy about. Six months after their wedding, their first child, Susanna, was born. Two years later, Anne gave birth to twins, Hamnet and Judith. Shakespeare was inspired by two main people, Plutarch and Geoffrey Chaucer. Plutarch was a biographer and philosopher. His work of Parallel Lives was the base of several plays written by Shakespeare. It mainly inspired Antony and Cleopatra, Coriolanus, Julius Caesar, and Timon of Athens. Geoffrey Chaucer was a poet that lived during the 14th century. He had written many things that inspired Shakespeare's work, such as Troilus and Chrysidae, Parliament of Fowls, and The Knight's Tale. They all in some way had inspired full or partial parts of plays that Shakespeare wrote, and there are also several others. Shakespeare's early career consisted of mainly acting so he could understand theater better. Later in life, after becoming a playwright, he wrote a total of 38 plays. He is most famous for Romeo and Juliet, no doubt about it. Close behind it would have to be Hamlet. Also, there was his, what I would call, his Henry series. He wrote many plays about King Henry and his legacies. Shortly after writing the play Henry VIII, which some believe he had nothing to do with, Shakespeare retired at the age of 49. After having quite a fulfilling, successful life, Shakespeare's life came to an end on April 23rd, his supposed birthday, in the year of 1616. Although he passed, his creations still live on today, nearly 500 years later, and will continue to inspire for years to come.